Uh, Hello. Uh, Fernando. Who's there? Hey, Fernando. that sounds like so, John Greco. What's happening? So uh, something that I, I like test drove yesterday in this tech hub, um, uh, they have, they're coming out with a contact where you put the contact on and you can call up at any given time a screen that you would have on your computer. So this is uh, um, sort of like Iron Man kind of thing. Um, but the beautiful thing is it can be used for low vision patients. Patients that have the disease like Sean's got mm. will help them uh, to be able to outline uh, 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 traffic signs or you can see other people talking. It, it will uh, enable them to be able to move around um, uh, with more security. It'll help sight catch it in a way. Question. That Pardon? That, that's, that's incredible. I mean, let's pause for one second before we go into that question. Uh, welcome, everyone. It is 8.30, and I want to honor Sean. Sean, are you here with us? Not yet, Fernando. Awesome. Thanks, Tiffany. So welcome, everyone, to Unblended Sales Mastery's Morning Huddle. Every single day at 8.30 a.m. to 9 a.m. To everyone in the back, can you yourself? As soon as you jump on the call, uh, as soon as 8.30 hits, there's a few people that may think they're muted and they're not. Um, and these calls of our, the fun and excitement of exponentially growing. So Joan, I'm sorry, I don't want to over yell over the music. Um, let's see who's back there. Right, so I think I'm fixing it now. All right, thank you, Tiffany. So, you know, what I'm present to, not only about the magic about what we're doing here, um, but about the magic of the people in this call. It is incredible that the high level conversations, the level of love and integrity, the level of ecosystem mergers and frictionlessness that's present here. It is mind blowing who we get to be in communication with every single morning. So to everyone that's there and listening and taking notes, I promise you mastery is behind the door of taking advantage of microphone, leveraging, communicating with each other in the Facebook group. And Joan, thank you for reminding me of what a blessing it is to have these huddles. So I heard a question in the background, who would like to share what they're present to today on this beautiful Tuesday? And if there's a newer voice, someone who's never spoken and simply wanna say your name, I'd love to give you this opportunity to have your voice be heard. So who would like to share, ready, go. Yeah. Hey, hey, Frando, I'm here as well. Happy trick for Tuesday, yes, please fire away. Keep going and we're done with this round, then I'll jump in. Awesome. Thank you, Sean. So one share, and then we'll pass the microphone over to Sean. Sean, Joan was just sharing some very beautiful things. I want her to have the opportunity to share again if she wishes. Um, if not, who would like to share anything that they're present to on this Trajectory Tuesday? Um, if I can hop in, because this one I think is important for Sean and the blind community. Yes, please. Uh, for people that yeah, have... Thanks, uh, so you're welcome. So I'm out here at uh, Abundance 360, and they've got a tech hub. Um, and one of the things I was able to uh, test drive last night is a contact that this company is coming out with that will, um, you know, it allows you to pull up your computer screen. Uh, I mean, that's all fine and good, but for the blind community uh, and low vision, uh, especially for someone with your, uh, with uh, uh, retinosa pigmentosa. Um, yes. Um, you can uh, have vision. It outlines in green. Uh, like if you look at a traffic sign, you can see that it says stop and, and uh, yield and, and slow. Um, it will show the outline of people uh, that are talking. Um, so you'd be able to move in space uh, with much more ease. Um, wow. So uh, something to, to look into. So anyway, um, I will send you information that I picked up from this company. Yeah, jo Joan, let me just acknowledge you again. Like, first of all, it's amazing the level of commitment you have to learning, growth, and development uh, at such an egoless level. So thank you for your brilliance. Thank you for your commitment to just growth and contribution. Um, it is not unseen, and it is greatly appreciated. Thank you, Joan. Thank you. My pleasure. Yeah. May I ask one question, Joan, if that would be okay? Absolutely. Thank you. This is Orly from Florida. Oh, hi, Orly. Uh, from my, hi. From my understanding, from what you're describing, because I have the same eye condition, um, you still need some residual vision for this technology to be helpful, correct? Well, you know, I can ask them. What I did ask them, they said if you were born without sight, it won't help. But if you've been sighted, then um, it, this will help. Okay. 
Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, thanks, mm -hmm. Laurie. Thanks, Joan. All right. And hey, happy trajectory Tuesday. And that could be a trajectory shift for a lot of people that Joan's is sharing. So thank you for that. And that's certainly part of what this, the key part of what this ecosystem is all about, that growth, that sharing, that learning. Uh, you know, Tiffany, if you can mute everyone. And a reminder, um, if you want to unmute, just press star six. So star six to unmute. Um, you know, your energy, your contributions, just like Joan was and Arlie uh, was, is incredibly appreciated. So where are we as we wake up on the trajectory Tuesday? I want a quick check in with you from your heart. How connected are you to your why and your legacy? Like, what is your why and legacy? Like, what is that emotional juice that is going to support you in overcoming your default no? Like, oh, should I make the phone call? Like, uh, not, not yet. I'm, I'm not in state. Like, what's going to help you overcome somebody else's default no? And the commitment and energy to do that with integrity. Right? And it'll power it to question through it, to use the indispensable elements effectively, to be in the four energies, to be in the four steps. So where are you in that space? And specifically, like, what are your financial outcomes? I'm just going to go quick checklist. Right? I don't want you to create them now. I want to check in. Like, where are you in setting your financial outcomes for 2020? Where are you in setting your financial outcomes for 2021? Where are you in setting the number of ecosystem mergers that you're committed to creating this month, this quarter, uh, this half a year, this year? You know, where are you in that space? Number of sales meetings. And it's like, ah, I just, I, you know, like when we talk about this stuff, I kind of like shut down. I'd rather just talk about, you know, the, the higher sort of vibrational, aspirational, fun stuff and goddess stuff. Love it. But Zeus decision-making is what drives you forward. And Zeus decision-making in terms of outcomes is how things get built. You know, I don't share this as much these days. I used to share it a lot. You know, I, I've been blessed and privileged to uh, create um, from scratch um, with literally no support in the beginning other than me being the only person working in this area to a space now of being complete business owner. I have a, a medical revenue recovery business that is uh, beautifully and wonderfully multiple seven figures profitable. Um, it is uh, multiple, multiple, and it is an incredible blessing and privilege to have something in that space um, that operates that way functionally. You know, I'm going to say that. Hey, Sean. Of, sure. Yeah. My apologies. Thought we lost you. Please continue. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Thank you for the update. But just to have, you know, business operator scaled business that doesn't come from and, and there's other divisions that are that are scaled in business operator um you know miss and that doesn't come from an absence of decision making so zeus energy you know your process mastery decision making um supported by your self mastery is what zeus energy is about it's about getting your aspirational state getting in your heart having some fun smiling being beautiful energy and then making decisions. So like trajectory shift is rooted in all four energies, but it culminates in decision. Without decision, we have no progress. Without commitment, we have no progress. And for a lot of us, we've built up as a resistance in our self-mastery to our trajectory acceleration. We've built up some resistance uh, around decision-making. Um, I, I, I coach up Ben Fox internally, externally, publicly, Ben's like, oh, Mr. Goddess is here, Ben Fox. And whatever Ben has is still rooted in his use decision making. Sean, are you there? <coughs> hey, I think we lost you again. That was me coughing. I don't think, I think we lost Sean. Yeah. Uh, it says uh, he's on. Tony on the line? Yeah, hey guys, sorry about that. Wow, okay, didn't realize. So I was still talking. Um, okay, so our, I was mentioning, um, did you guys hear me say, Tiffany, did you guys hear me say Ben Fox? Yes. Yes, Mr. Goddess, and then I was it. Yeah, okay. So from our Zeus, so whatever Ben does have and doesn't have is rooted in his Zeus decision making. So it took Zeus decision making, like just a, a decision, like cutting off the other possibilities. Like this is what I'm doing. Like, hey, like what I'm doing is I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna like take a shower. That's Zeus decision making, right? Like it's a decision. 
I'm going to begin to make phone calls. I'm going to set an outcome. So your trajectory change, yours, Ben's, mine, all of ours, everyone you know, everyone you don't know, is rooted in decision-making. And what we've built up for many of us is some resistance to that decision-making. And our resistance is always rooted in our self-mastery and our fear of failure and fear of rejection. So just be aware of it. It's not a deep dive. You know, um, mastery is, is where we're doing deeper dives, you know, um, weekly. And these calls were touching and stepping in. But the touch and step in is to realize when it becomes present of like a pull away, sort of like a magnet would repel, that's our, our fear of rejection, fear of failure showing up. And, you know, we talked about the weekend, we'll talk more mastery about the deeper dives and how to deal with that. But just be, be aware that that fear is what's stopping us from making our decision making and our acceleration forward, which is present, preventing our trajectory shifts. And we've learned something that's incorrect, a lot of us, like we've been conditioned into this sort of like this flow state, this motivated state. And that's really an aspirational state. It's a beautiful state. We create some visions and general dreams, but the specific decision-making of how to build the bridge between our aspirational state and where we are is Zeus decision-making. Like a bridge got built to connect New York and New Jersey, the George Washington Bridge. Tunnels got built. They were rooted in a dream of aspirational energy, but then they were created through specific decisions. Okay, like what, what's the plan? Specifically, do you guys still have me or no? Yes. Yes. Hello. You're there. Yes, we still have you. Yeah. Wow. Okay, that's crazy. Okay, so so for each of us, sorry guys, uh, it was a little confusing. If I was on or off. So for our for our decision making, that's what's going to drive forward our outcomes on a consistent basis, trajectory wise. And I'd love to have a jump in from anybody on like where do you get stopped? Like where do you where do you feel that moment of like when we're in, let's say, heart-centered space on these calls, got a space, fun space, aspirational space, where do you like feel the shift when we move into decision-making? Who, who feels it and what do you feel when it becomes time to like, I say, how much money are you going to make this year? What ecosystems are you going to merge with this year? What does frictionless look like? What are the specific ones? Like when we get into those decisions, who feels some resistance? And some like like stepping backwards and a desire that we move back into more aspirational, fun, and goddess energy space. Who feels that uh, to describe it? It's Craig. How you doing, Sean? I hey, Craig. What's up, that. brother? How you doing, everybody? Great. Yes. Yeah. No, I, de I definitely feel that very much so. Yeah. And, um, when, and where does it start for you? And what's the feeling? So my stomach, my gut. Gets that feeling. Okay. And, and what are the thoughts? So you're, what, what, before we go there, you're, so you get in your gut, amazing. And what's the feeling? Like name the emotion. The, like I, like the, the emotion is one word. The emotion is heart pumping. Okay. But so that's discomfort. A, it's a feeling. But, but dis discomfort. Discomfort. Discomfort and emotion. So you feel okay. the discomfort. The emotion is yeah. one more, another word. The emotion the is. Well is the emotion is unsettling. Okay. And then so. give me like two sentences. What are the thoughts? So discomfort, unsettling, because you're thinking what? Am I going to be able to make those connections that I want to make and am I and and I think about whether or not the ones that I've made will be valuable enough to me and the people who I'm working with boom okay that's brilliant how is that now watch trajectory shift how is that question is it going to be valuable enough? Am I going to be able to make the connection? Are those limiting or empowering questions you're asking yourself? Com very limiting. Very limiting. And by the way, you're not alone. Because lots of people in this phone call, and almost everybody you know, including me, 
or at times asking ourselves limiting questions. The challenge is, the opportunity is, the opportunity is not having it be unconscious. As we gain awareness of our limiting reactive thoughts, we have the absolute power to change them and shift our trajectory. So how aware, before this conversation, how aware are you of that shift when you're moving from fun aspiration to goddess, like heart-centered love, like where are we going, and then um, like the fun of like being silly, laughing, right, like having a good time, how aware of you, how aware are you when it comes to Zeus decision-making energy, right? How aware are you of that shift inside of you to these limiting questions? I'm, I'm very aware of it because I've spotlighted it for so long. Amazing. Okay. I spot. So what I'm hearing then, so this is, this is by the way, uh, not just about Craig, obviously, and we're, so we're dropping in his self mastery and what I'm hearing now, so we're diagnosing through the formula. What I'm hearing is that some of Craig's trajectory is not shifting because his action gets limited in his self mastery. So he may set these plans and outcomes in. I'm not sure he even has them, but maybe he does in terms of ecosystems he's going to merge with. And then the question becomes if he does have them and they are optimal, he's modeling appropriately and wonderfully. Then, and we're gonna, I'm, I'm going to ask him some other questions to have it show up for you, right? Then the question becomes, we'll drop back into process mastery in a second, but in self-mastery, Craig, if you're aware, you've highlighted it for a long time or whatever the word is used, why aren't you shifting and conditioning in? What's, what's preventing you from conditioning and empowering beliefs when we move from the other energies into Zeus? What's preventing that shift for you? In terms, in, in terms of a formula is my self mastery. Yeah, no, the belief, what belief, like what, oh. what, so what self master, actually better question. What self mastery pattern is happening? So you're aware of it, you're spotlighting it. You know, you have a limiting belief. What are you doing to change it? Let me ask that question. What are you doing to change it? Like what would so, be an empowering belief you'd want to put in? So the limiting belief is, do I have, can I make the connections? Can I make the connections? Do I have enough value already? What's the limiting belief that's stopping you? I'm sorry, what's the, excuse me, what's the empowering right. belief you want to put in? So the empowering belief that I, that I am putting in now is that the value that I've already provided, that I've already proven is is the, the actions that I've already, that I've already taken have provided so much value that I know that I'm able to give even more. Okay. Amazing. I might want to tighten that to something like I can create, uh, like my belief is I can create any value to maximize and attain massive value for me and my ecosystem and any ecosystem I touch immediately, some version of that. It's immediate, it's large, it's you, it's everyone adding massive value, immediacy, certainty, something in that space. But how does that, does that resonate? Yes. Yes. Right. So now let's talk, how to con let's talk how to condition in because ideas are head, right? Actions are body, heart. So what my hallucination is, and I love you and I love your fun energy. I love your goddess energy, your beautiful soul. But I'm going to challenge you in your Zeus energy, in your decision making, in your implementation, in your execution at the highest level of certainty. And you're such a beautiful, giving, integrity filled, generous soul. It's unbelievable, right? So I think having some focus on yourself, all of you, everyone here, and what's happening for you, I think is important. Having you in the frame also is huge, right? So what my hallucination might be is what does it look like for you to powerfully build an ecosystem that you're leading inside of this ecosystem or outside of it, where you, you, Craig, are the leader, where you're leading by example, you're teaching, you're sharing within the formula, right? Um, or not, whatever you want to do, right? What is it that you're doing that's adding massive value now? 
it's not like those guys over there are great. It's like, hey, like, where you been? Where are you? Where are you going? What's working? What are the challenges? You're, you're supporting people in their growth within the formula. And we had spoken about it a little while ago, and I don't want to get into, like, taking any deeper than this, but building that through potentially an ecosystem merger meeting, building that through people that are connecting regularly with and around your leadership is how you expand and add massive value immediately to yourself and others as well as to this ecosystem. And any moment, any moment that those limiting beliefs come up, shattering them through physical disruption, voice disruption, physical, visceral, vocal disruption is a key access for you, I am sure. So limiting belief comes up and in the beginning, and I, this is a longer you know, call for a different day, but even anger, right? Is, anger is not the ultimate tool we want to use, but it can be useful at times. Just disruptive anger. Throw on thunderstruck. Th- throw, on, throw on F you. I don't do what you tell me. Like, F this. Like, scream, yell, vocal, fist. Scream, you know, yeah, yes. Like, empower yourself in any way possible. Like, like, yeah, yeah. like right? You're getting visceral, vocal, violent, aggressive, breaking through fear. You cannot be afraid. And in your physical body, right, an aggressive, truly in your body, like 9.99 level aggression, you will not be able to feel fear. The fear of, is it enough? Those are, those are fearful questions. Does that resonate, Craig, or no? Yeah, it definitely, no, it definitely does, for sure. Yeah, so your truth breakthrough at its initial level ensure that you're resonating towards decision making and being in a peak powerful zoo state that you had gotten in through aspirational goddess and fun so like you see the vision through those spaces you connect to those spaces then you make decisions execute take action from a space of zeus energy it's just what we do whether men or women zeus is not male goddess is not female like i'm in god a long time like I'm working on things with my, with my uh, children, especially my daughters, where I've let them step into their Zeus way too much. And I've been way too much in my goddess, trying to love them and connect with them. And we just had a you know, family meeting last night. And immediately upon me stepping into my Zeus, like they got back into their goddess more effectively. And I'm supposed to be leading. I'm the father. And nothing like crazy bad's happening. But like, you know, I want to take it to an even higher level of, you know, mastery in our in our relationships and our acceleration and my leadership and influence for them, as well as my love for them. I was giving them too much love and not enough decision-making. Does that make sense, brother? Yes. Yes, it does. Yeah, and, and for, for all of us, it's present. So that's how it's, so we just did six things. One, we talked about how trajectories shift, and we gave you a little sample of how our process master execution can be limited by our self-mastery, dropping in specifically to limiting versus empowering beliefs. We begin to talk about how to recognize where fear comes in to stop us from transitioning from our limiting to our empowering beliefs and getting into our body physically in a state of aggression. And some people may go, well, I have a different approach, but that's okay. That could be a man or woman saying that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share with you. Try this on. If you're not getting all the acceleration you want, try it on. Try on going to aspirational dream. Like, and, think, and think of being in, in Tony Robbins, like there's nobody better at this than him. Think of the exercises you go through in his room where he'll take you aspirationally through places. Let's say you're at Date with Destiny or UPW. He'll move you through the four energies. He doesn't, he doesn't say it, but it's what he's doing. It's what we're, we're doing and functioning in NLP. It's what football coaches, baseball coaches, gymnastics coaches, ice skating coaches, uh, dance, ballet, acting coaches. It's what everybody's doing. Right? It's, it's seeing it, feeling it, then deciding and executing. This is what the model looks like. That's how we came up with the formula. So any questions about that anybody have on this trajectory Tuesday? I just wanted to thank you, Sean. Thank you very yeah, no much. Problem, that was Craig. awesome. Craig. That was awesome. Thanks, thank you. Brother. Thank you. And I heard a, a, a female voice, I believe. I, yes, you did. Good morning, Sean. This is Renya. Renya, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Um, uh, so what what I find has been limiting me is the the energy that 
I exchange with people, I feel like since I've left um, Unblinded, I have gone like full energy into living the formula and, and going back and forth between all of the energies in my ability to, to make my agreements. Where I'm, and maybe this is just self mastery that I'm lacking because yeah, I, please, I, God, this is awesome. Like, I'm finding myself feeling energetically depleted. And maybe it's because I'm, I'm, my volume is too loud. Like I am all in it all the time. Kids, husband, work, um, at the gym. It's like I'm giving 150% of myself all the time, which anyone who knows me knows that that's me anyway, um, from an overachiever standpoint, maybe if that's the word you want to use. But like energetically, yeah. I'm feeling a bit depleted because I feel like I'm flowing through the energies all the time. And so like, you talked about being in your body and like being physically like disrupting, um, you know, those limiting thoughts. I don't feel so that's not happening for me. I don't, I'm since I saw Chris Crone, I, my limiting thoughts have slowly started to fade away, which is awesome, but energetically, awesome. I'm feeling depleted. Okay, so, so Renya, so first of all, yeah, I want to acknowledge you. This is beautiful, you are crushing it. And I'm hearing a certainly present, um, some appropriate, at least appropriate Zeus energy, which is phenomenal, phenomenal. And like awesome to hear. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling your uh, aspirational energy. I'm feel, I could even feel tinges of fun and goddess just in your presence. Like your energy is, is phenomenal, beautiful, and amazing, period. Drop the mic, okay? So what uh, several access points that I'm, I'm clearly hearing would be to make sure, because sometimes we can come out of something like unblinded, right? And I don't think there's anything like it, but, but I'm referring to a personal development experience on a real high. And we're going to move yeah. back into the, the world that's not in that space high. And trust me, the first time I ever went to a, an event, it happened to be a Tony Robbins event in 1997, and I was like shot out of a cabin and nobody else was. And it was like, whoa. And that's why the indispensable elements are smaller QBC. The M is for matching and mirroring. So we're going to enter the space of others. So if it's our husband, if it's our children, like, listen, my kids, like I've done a lot of work and I'm still doing work because some, my kids last night said to me, which I don't, I'm not present to at all. My daughters, I'm just being, this is only transparent. My daughters are like, dad, like you're like, you know, like, therapizing us as we feel like all the time now to me in, in reality i think that's some of their story because i'm not you know making fun of them i'm not like doing things maybe they see other parents do i talk to them lovingly and respectfully but maybe i haven't had enough fun energy with them lately so i was like okay like i was hearing it receiving it but what i definitely realized um uh, for sure is that in in my attempts to match and mirror them right Sometimes I'm not going deep enough into their space. And so it's really being, and I'm definitely not going in like, hey guys, let's be happy. Like I graduated from that like a decade ago. Like I'm, I'm much more masterful than that. But I'm even in going into, let's say they're down, they're teenage girls. Like, you know, my son's a teenage boy and like stuff happens. And so like, you know, my, like my son was even in doubt recently about some things. and He's never in doubt. And so the ability, Renya, and for all of us to go deep into the space where they are to like match if their energy is outside of the formula, right? Like let's say they're not in Zeus, they're not in goddess, they're not in fun, they're not in aspirational. We need to disconnect from those energies, at least temporarily, and maybe go into a state of like sadness, like to be with them, to match and mirror. We need to go into a state of confusion. And these are not states I like to go in. And these are not states I'm saying that you should be going in at any point regularly. Sadness is okay. It looks like we lose a loved one. Like we could have rules about when we go into sadness. So we, so yes, we, we can't, we, it is not optimal, especially when relating to others, like to be in, to be in the energies all the time, if they're not. And I just want to drop on this. You could be an aspirational energy and be quiet and thinking and contemplative. Like that's part of aspiration. I just want to give everybody that. So it's not that we're in the four energies that they're high peak exhausting states. I go into quiet states and executive creation decision making all the time where I'm contemplating in aspirational. I'm thinking, I'm assessing, I'm evaluating, 
that's part of both Zeus and aspirational as I'm making decisions, right? So just to give you that, you could be in quiet state and be in the energy, okay? So, so Renny, an access point I would suggest for you, and we're going to you know, move on because you know, I, I love this, obviously, and I'd love to talk all day about this, um, is to check in to really, if you're matching and mirroring and going into their space, truly having them feel seen, heard, acknowledged, and validated, and then maybe just leaving them where they are in love and not taking them forward yet if it's a longer-term relationship. And not feel like you have to shift and move everybody, but just give them the gift of deep listening and then move on from there. Is that, is that resonating a bit? Go. And is that an access for you? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. I, yeah. Like you said, I was certainly coming off the high of unblinded and it's just like poured out everywhere. And now yeah. I'm feeling like, Oh gosh, I'm so tired. Yeah. yeah. And I've coached people for decades. I've been in the space for decades and I've had my children in close proximity. And I've created such massive access and acceleration for them. And at some times I haven't, I've, I've been too quick in like yeah. creating shifts, but looking at create shifts. So I'm just, you know, I have a wealth and abundance of, of mistakes that I've made suboptimal decisions I've made, you know, level like eight when it could have been a nine or 9.999. I've made decisions that are two or three. I've even made those decisions, you know, in the last month. So this is not ever perfection. So everybody, you know, love themselves and take a deep breath. Um, you know, I, I've made plenty of mistakes. I've made mistakes in the last week, you know, in terms of getting out of my self mastery. So it's, it's going to happen. Um, but just connecting a matching and mirroring, I think is your access point for now. And just giving people the deep gift of listening without necessarily taking them anywhere, especially if it's a longer term relationship. If it's a short window, Renya, everybody. Yeah. Then we've got to go through the, the steps. If it's a longer term relationship, sometimes give it even more depth, especially our family, especially our children and our, you know, dear friends, and our loved ones in our inner, inner circle. Right. So Renya, thank you. Beautiful, beautiful sharing access. Thank you. Thank you. Um, cool. Yeah. Hey, so Jared, uh, any, and I want to acknowledge Jared and what happened insanely in the <laughs> ecosystem uh, in one moment. Um, uh, actually, we do this. So, and then Jared. So I acknowledge Jared because Jared, uh, yesterday, Jack Canfield is considered by many to be one of the most, um, I think, unique, prominent figures in the world of personal development. Uh, he was, I don't want to say it incorrectly, but he was certainly one of the leaders, if not the author or driver of The Secret. You know, that audio was certainly one of the co-creators of it. He wrote Chicken Soup for the Soul and just seen by many to be one of the great geniuses of manifesting and other spaces in the personal development world. And Jared did a webinar with him yesterday, and he has a great relationship with, uh, you know, Mr. Canfield. I'm not going to call him Jack yet because I, I don't have a personal relationship with him, but Jared certainly does. And what a beautiful um, uh, webinar it was. If you haven't caught it, um, something really cool to listen to. And long story short, Jack Canfield was acknowledging not only the formula uh, and unblinded, but Jack Canfield is a paying member of the mastery program. And, like, if that doesn't scream social proof, I don't know what does. So, Jared, congratulations. Congratulations on behalf of the entire ecosystem and the value that adds to everyone's life and things that they can share for speaking points uh, and incredible you know, moments and opportunities. Um, I will also drop this in. I'm speaking for any plats that are out there going to Business Mastery. I'll be there at the pre-plat party. Hope to see you there. Um, tonight, uh, you know, Gerald Rogers is uh, hosting, throwing, uh, along with, I think, others. Forgive me, Forever's co-hosting. Um, but I'll be speaking there tonight. I will be there tonight. Looking forward to seeing you. Um, but with that, Jared, congratulations on um, Jack Canfield. So what's up? Uh, <clears throat> congratulations, movement, right? This is, a, this is a win for all of us. Jack is a dear friend for many years. We've done many projects together. And Jack's Achilles heel is um, his inability to get yes. Um, he shared a story yesterday uh, on the video, which you can all watch. It's at canfieldsales.com, or it's in the movement on Facebook as well. Uh, you can watch it there. But he shared a story about how he just this past weekend um, spoke at a chiropractic event. And at the end of the presentation, he was going for agreement formation, which he doesn't know to call it that yet, but that's what he was going for. And his entire physiology changed. His voice changed. He started sweating. He was really uncomfortable. And that whole presentation was like magic, as Jack always does. But then all he remembered was like the quote unquote close and it really left like a bad taste in his mouth. But what allowed him to clean his mouth quickly was the fact that he knows he's about to start mastery with all of us. And that's really cool. Um, this is someone that believes in can I and can I is constant and never ending learning. 
Um, and he just consistently is trying to find ways to innovate and iterate and, and create more value for others. And that's why he's immersing himself in mastery. And he's a type of person that doesn't like to do things alone. So he invited um, his top group to join him. So there's tons of people from the Cancun community that are joining. So it was a great webinar. I encourage you guys to watch it because you can see how we're explaining mastery. Because I know many of you are out there now explaining mastery and you're doing it because you believe in it and you're doing it because you understand the financial model associated with it. And if you don't know anyone that is in the mastery program, you get paid a thousand dollars every time somebody joins mastery. So we're creating a sustainable model for you to make unblinded either part of your main thing or your main thing. Um, and Jack is really excited to share this with his leaders and his trainers so that they can go out and share with others as well. So big win for the movement. There's a, many other big wins on the horizon as well. Um, major call to action is we're gonna be sending out more info on those that are in the mastery program. So look for that today and tomorrow. We're gonna to start getting you set up in your accountability groups, giving you some assignments to start really thinking about and preparing yourself for the big, big, big start, which is the first week of February. So we're excited for that. We're also gonna come out with a really cool announcement. Look in the Facebook group today. A member of Mastery just did something beyond special. And I think this is gonna be a catalyst for many of you to also give back and to help those that potentially are in a little need of some of support. So look for that today, I'll be posting it soon. Um, but with that, if there's any questions about Mastery or anything at all, please call our team. They answer the phones very quickly at 863-862-5463, 863-862-5463. We are here to support you always. Our excitement and enthusiasm is at an 11 on a scale of one to 10. And uh, if you just want to chat, give us a call as well. We're here for you. Yeah. Listen, Jared, Jack, that's amazing. Say, it's Sean, oh, sorry, oh, Jared, it's oh, Nick Champagne. That's amazing. Just hey, Nick. Jack, Jack Canfield is like a hero to me. Like awesome. from The Secret and his book, The Success Principles, who I've recommended to and given to so many people. Sean, Pat Melson's one of them. Ask Pat Melson about the success principles. He swears by it. Um, yeah. I, I think it's amazing, Jared. That's, that's an amazing addition to the Unblinded group. And, you know, to have him support and endorse, I think, is incredible for you guys. So amazing yeah. job with and, that. And, and, and just to be super clear, Nick, right, this, like, you'll even hear in the webinar. And thank you, Nick. And, and I respect that and appreciate that. And I saw you and Pat. Uh, and Mona and Miriam and Darcy and so many, you know, Roger, like so many beautiful yeah. souls the night after you guys saw Jack right. Canfield. Um, and it was incredible. I'm sorry. I, missed I, I believe it. there was um, a kidnapping that night. Uh, perhaps. Yes. A kidnapped yes. you and took you to Long Beach Island. Yes. That, that, <laughs> that happened. Right. And so we had <laughs> yeah, that was know, awesome. amazingly fun night. Yes. Um, and so what I, just to share, You'll, you'll hear in the webinar, Jack's like, yeah, I felt like Jared was going to give it to me for free. And he's like, and Jared. saw that actually. I, I listened and watched to uh, the beginning of it last <laughs> night on Adam's Facebook. Not the whole thing, but the beginning yeah. is pretty funny. By the way, you have yeah, to pay. So. <laughs> that was awesome. It's a good Amazing. lesson though for everybody, right? Like, you know, know your yeah. worth. And then. Uh, yeah. And, and honestly, I'm going to tell you this. So it's, it's, it's not so great. It's Jared, a place of service. Yeah. I'm learning from Jared. Like Jared's space and comfort, like my growth and my self mastery in like around agreement formation and money. Like I could, I certainly have a lot of power in that space. He has more power in that space. And I, I'm always like, ah, you know, I just, you know, want to give. I never want to like, be, like I have this like thing. I never want to be seen as a taker. And that was like rooted in my childhood. And it's like substantially gone. But if Jared's a 9.999 in that category, I'm probably 9.5. It's one of my lower areas of mastery in the formula, quite frankly. So I am, I am inspired by his work in that space. And we can all be inspired by each other in different areas. And that's a beautiful access point. And this is such a giving community in this phone. But let's remember that, um, you know, let's not be, I think Jared used the word broke servant, right? And not, I'm not saying broke, but we're, we're, we're out of value exchange. And final, final, final for today in trajectory uh, Tuesday, because it could be a huge shift for your money. When I was paying $10,000 a month for coaches, by the way, one of them's named Gary Kitty. He happens to be a friend of Jared's. We had no idea we had this in contact. I was paying Gary <laughs> Kitty $10,000 a month in 2002 uh, to coach me. And I remember he created some massive breakthroughs. I'm like, I'm like are you kidding me? It was $10,000 a month for you. Like, whatever. I'm like, are you insane? And, and you know, I was making you know, very good money. That's a lot of money at that time. 
And I'm like, that's crazy. Like, it's not, it's crazy. And he sat down and broke the value down. He's like, it's not crazy. It's cheap. He goes, and I'm offended. And then, you know, so there's an access point, and we'll talk more about that in mastery, about how we deal with agreement formation, limiting beliefs, money, and all of those things. But I am very present to the fact that, that is a huge access point for virtually everybody on this call, uh, me included, all of us. So thank you, uh, Nick, for that beautiful share. Thank you, Renya. Thank you, uh, Joan. Thank you, anybody else that I haven't thanked. Uh, great job, Fernando, Jared, Adam. Uh, everybody, let's make it happen today. Trajectory Tuesday. Hit that point in that moment right now. Shuffle in, please. Use energy to make decisions. Take massive action. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.